So today I want to talk to you about fathers are natural born leaders. As a woman is a natural is naturally chosen to bear children. A man is naturally chosen to lead. In uh, John 5, 19, it said the son can do nothing of himself. But what he seeth the father doing, that's what he does. Amen. That's Jesus saying, I do what I see my father doing. That's what I do. Amen. This places a tremendous responsibility on the fathers. That. We are being followed. Somebody's always watching us. We are looked up to and expected to lead. Now, not only are we leaders, we are the providers. Paul says that in 1 Timothy 5, 8, Paul said that if a man will not provide for his own, he has denied the faith. If he does not provide for his own, he has denied the faith and is worse than a infidel. And, you know, infidel just means an unbeliever. He's worse than those who are unsaved. However, it is equally important to provide direction. As a father, we are given the responsibility to direct our family, to move them into the right direction. All I'm telling you today, the mother is something else. That mama will try to, the Bible called it, usurp that authority. I tell you, beware, mamas, because you are to help the father direct, but not to usurp that authority and trying to tell him no. You can always get help. Help is needed when it comes to directing because fathers get overwhelmed sometimes when they make decisions and it just doesn't turn out the way they expect it. They found that that might have been the wrong decision. It didn't say that we are natural born best or good leaders. The best at what we do. It would be great if we were, but we are not. Therefore, in the beginning, woman was cursed to obey our leadership. Whew. Now, I tell you, if we were that good, it would not be a curse. I have to stand here before you and say, ain't no curse to follow what I say do. I thank God that he sent Jesus to help me lead my family, that it no longer will be a curse to do what I say do. Amen. If I can get all the fathers just to say, do what I say do, ain't it hard? Ain't it hard? It's hard for them. They like, uh, go on, say it again. Do what I say do. That's right. Do it strong. Go where I say go. As for me in my house, see, you know, it, that's what it is. It's your house. And I know it's hard for some of the women because they say, well, I'm paying a lot of money in your house. I'm doing a lot of cooking in your house. I'm doing a lot of supporting in your house. And you have to just say, yeah, but it's my house. There's a, there's a reason that God has made man a natural leader. The father is also a protector. Family needs an authoritative figure. The lack of such a figure can be seen in today's society. Suicide, drug abuse, alcoholism, wife abuse and child abuse and murder and all kinds of racial crimes are happening because the father 
is not taking control, is not leading with the right direction. It's finding it, though it's difficult, it is not impossible to keep training the kids because they are going to be the ones out there doing such things. Why is a person robbing people, stealing, because they did not get good direction? Somebody might have given up on them. Somebody was too busy. I'm telling you, fathers, when you, when you get to a certain age and you have totally slowed down on your role, all of a sudden, now you want to be the father. Now you go to the kids and say, listen, I'm your father, Luke. <laughs> but it's too late now. The kid is saying, listen, every day you drop me off at grandma's house. Every day you sit me somewhere else while you went running and doing your things. And now that you 75 or 70, now you want to be my father. It's too late. I'm damaged. I, I can't find in my heart to forgive. I wasn't trained to forgive. You wasn't there. So I'm saying to the father, it's never too late, though. It's never too late. Come back. Come back and come back strong. Go and be the father that God has called you to be. A good man, I wrote here, a good man will become a good father. However, in Matthew 19, 17, it says, there is none good. So how can a father be a good leader if there is none good? Well, if we looked at Luke 18, 27, it said, what is impossible with man is possible with God. We, as leaders, must also be able to trust the Lord. That though we are not good, we can still become good leaders or directors in the sense of God being over, our Lord helping us. Amen? Our Lord helping us. Genesis 18, 14 said, is anything too hard for the Lord? God can do it all. Now, I know that there are men who are going in the wrong direction. What do you do when the head of your house hold is going in the wrong direction? I'm talking to the women. What do you do? You pray, you pray, you pray and you pray. And after you finish praying, you pray some more. And you keep praying and you pray until a change comes. And that's all you can do. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says, oh, I, I, after you done done, after you done it all, that's all you can do. But you got to get to the after part. Amen. Pray to the father that he move the head of this household and lead him to the right direction. I'm covered by